สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I am so excited to be saying hello to you from Ratchaburi, which is a province just a couple of hours west of Bangkok. Now I am here to once again dig deep into the origins of our staple Thai ingredients. Now previously we've looked at how jasmine rice was grown and processed. Today we're gonna take jasmine rice a step further and look at how rice noodles are made. But before we look at how rice noodles are made, I want to give you a bit of a primer, a bit of a Thai noodle 101. So I am on my way now to a popular local noodle shop in this little town of Ban Pong, and I want to show you all the different types of noodles that we have in Thailand. The noodle shop is called Mum Sen, which literally means noodle corner. It's a super popular local spot that specializes in all things noodles, whether it's soup, stir fried, or deep fried. Now they've kindly let us in early before the crowd arrives, so I can give you some Thai noodle basics. So when you're in a noodle shop like this one and you order a bowl of noodle soup, they're gonna ask you what noodles do you want. So in front of me are the typical options that you'll have. So let's go with the smallest one. So these ones right here are what we call sen mi. It's made from rice and it's super, super small, as small as you can get, really, really tender. Now, if you want something a little bit more chewy, something with a little more resistance, you want to order what's called sen lek, which are small noodles. And this is also made from rice, but it's, it's what you'll find in like a bowl of pho. Now, the big ones is what we call sen yai. These are the flat, wide rice noodles. Now these have a really fun sort of velvety texture. I love this in a noodle soup. It's also popular in stir fries. So these are our three rice noodles, are the most popular ones. But there are also a couple of non-rice options. Right here, you all know this. This is egg noodles made from wheat flour, and the yellow color comes from egg. But this one right here, now, this is not available at every noodle shop. This is glass noodles, or what we call wun sen. We love it in salads and stir fries. Now, a lot of people think this is made from rice. It's actually made from mung bean starch. I love that actually this place uses fresh glass noodles, which you and I, when we go to the store, will never find fresh glass noodles. You and I will have to buy the dry ones and soak them in water, but because they're pros, they get it fresh from the factory and they don't have to soak these. All right, now that you've got the basics, let's take a look at how a typical bowl of Thai noodle soup gets put together. And for that, I am turning to the owner, Pinod. He works the soup station here while his wife works the wok. Pinod is teaching me how to make one of his most popular dishes, tom yam noodles, which is not the famous tom yam soup that you're probably thinking of, but it is also a spicy and tart dish with a lot of ingredients in it. Okay, here we go. See if I can remember this. So we're gonna start with the seasoning, a little bit of sugar, some salty fish sauce, some chilies, roasted dried chilies. I got green onions and cilantro, some roasted ground peanuts. I'm so nervous, you guys. I feel like I'm gonna screw this up. <laughs> White pepper. Man, there's a lot of stuff that goes in here. And lime juice, of course. This is Guitio Tom Yum. You gotta have some sourness. And some homemade Thai roasted chili paste. There we go. There's my seasoning. Now we're gonna do noodles. So apparently the Sen Lek is the most popular kind. So I'm gonna go with that. Pomeha. Okay. Ooh. I'm dropping things everywhere. And tuong ngok. Five seconds. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I did not get my bowl ready. Shake off all the liquid. Noodles go in. Some garlic and garlic oil. A little extra for good luck. And now, luk chin. Oh, okay. Little tongs for some pork balls and fish balls. So two fish rugby shaped balls. We got two pieces of fish cakes. 
one, these are fried shrimp balls. Shrimp's expensive, so one. This is a very generous bowl of protein, by the way. This is so cool. Okay, that's done. Now we mix this. One ladle full of pork stock, which they cook for five hours. And then we mix all that together. I hope this tastes good. Money shot right here. Oh yes, look at that! That is a legit bowl of tom yum noodles. I've never done this before. Life goal completed. Here's the moment of truth, you guys. Here's the bowl Pinot made, and here's the one I made. I have to say, they don't look all that different. I think I got that pretty close. Let's taste the broth. I want to taste the original first. Mm. Okay, that's good. Sweet, spicy, salty, sour. Perfect balance. Let's see how I did. It's, it's different for sure, <laughs> but I wouldn't say, I, mine is just a little more sour. His is a little more sweet. I am not surprised why Sen Lek is the most popular. It's got just the right amount of chew, but still a lot of texture going on. And that broth is perfect. I love those pork balls, just the perfect texture. Mm. I think I will finish both of these bowls. Now that we know more about Thai noodles, it's time to take a look at how the noodles are actually made. Now, I just found out actually that Banpong, this town, is well known for noodles. If you look around, there are more noodle shops here than I've ever seen anywhere else. It is the food these people are proud of. So I am standing in front of a noodle factory called Thai Better Foods. They make all sorts of noodles for all sorts of different brands that sell all over the world. They've let us in here to show us how it's done. Let's go take a look. We're about to go into a place where they make noodles and the hygiene standards here are super high. I got my hair nets on, my boots are, you know, all on, my jewelry is all gone, so they're very strict, which is the kind of thing you want to see in a place that makes your food, right? Let's go. Our guy for today is Mr. Ten right here. He's the son of the owner, the rightful heir of this kingdom. And he is going to be showing us around. So I got to wash my feet. Uh, use your knee, press and hold. Okay, so use my knees to turn the water on. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, get the soap here and uh, do the washing. This requires some athletic ability. <laughs> Ready to go? Hand sanitizer. Okay. We are in. The first thing I smell is rice. This whole place smells of rice so much. All right, let's go. Right, uh, let's go to the lighter place here. These guys make all the different noodles that we saw earlier, but today they're making the ever popular Pad Thai noodles. There's only one ingredient involved, and that is rice. So either white or brown rice gets poured down this massive tube where it first gets washed. And then they basically make a rice smoothie. And that smoothie gets passed through a very fine strainer where any physical contaminant will be removed. This is a very important step in ensuring that in the end, there's nothing but rice in your noodles. This is so cool. So that rice juice comes out here and this roller picks it up into the sheet that is the beginning of the forming of the noodles. That is so cool. And then it gets steamed through this conveyor belt of steamer right here. Now with precise temperature and timing control, the noodles emerge from the other side, perfectly cooked to the right consistency. And now they just end up on these sheets ready to dry and be turned into noodles. It's simple and, and really fascinating and cool and clever at the same time. So I was really curious about that fan that's just sitting there blowing, seemingly not doing a whole lot. And I asked him why and he said, he doesn't really understand why it works, but without the fan, the noodle sheets get wrinkles. So the fan is there somehow magically straightening the noodle sheets. And it's been done like that since the day he was born. So this is just like, the family tradition.
that part's a secret. Oh, look at that! And just like that, they become noodles. It's like a highly efficient pasta machine. <laughs> So she's weighing out exactly how much each bundle of noodles is going to weigh. And then, and then she's putting them into the little slots on the conveyor belt. And so all the noodle packages have exactly the same amount of noodles, looking exactly the same. And then it goes into this massive dryer, dehydrator, that'll spit out finished noodles at the end. Are these brown rice noodles? Yep, they are. Okay, so these are what we're looking at, brown rice noodles. So the color is a little bit beige. Oh, I'm excited. I don't think I've ever had brown rice noodles like this. I just grabbed a piece from their bundle there, and it feels very much like the fresh noodle version. You know, when you go to a Thai noodle shop on the street, you'll see that the noodles they're using are actually soft and pliable, but they're not cooked. They're not like, they're not fresh, fresh. This is the stage. So from this point on, if they were to sell it to a noodle shop, it goes straight there. And if they're packaging, then they get dried. I'm really surprised it's done by hand. Like it's individually getting measured and grabbed and rolled into shape. So this is kind of cool. It's still very much a hands-on process. So the dehydrator is basically a big, long conveyor belt. It's not like they sit there and dry. They slowly move through the process. And by the time it comes out the other side, these ladies here double check their dry weight because it, they will have lost a lot of weight to make sure that each bag gets exactly the right amount. This is like their little airport security right here before the noodles fly off all over the world. They go through a metal detector to make sure there's absolutely no metal contaminants. It's actually really interesting. We were just standing here chatting and the metal detector went off. And as soon as it went off, the alarm went off, the conveyor belt stopped so that you know exactly which bag caused the problem and they just took it away. Huh, so it does work. And that's it, you guys. Noodles, simple as that, or maybe not quite that simple. Hmm. I'm not sure at this point. <laughs> wow, what a fascinating and fun day. I don't know about you, but I definitely have a newfound appreciation for such a, a humble ingredient that is rice noodles. And I hope you found that interesting. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to get in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or on my website, hotthaikitchen.com. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. Sawadee ka.